Welcome to the 2019 commencement ceremony for St. Louis University's Richard A. Chaffetz School of Business. I am Mark Higgins, Dean of the Chaffetz School of Business, and it is my pleasure to welcome the class of 2019.
I now invite Dr. Natish Singh to the podium for the invocation. O Supreme Almighty, an ardent prayer mounts from us to Thee, expressing our gratitude for allowing us to serve our students. On this auspicious occasion, with sincerity of our hearts, we commune with Thee. O Supreme, grant that our graduates escape from the frames too narrow, from limits too fixed, and ideas too dogmatic. Let their hearts be always in peace, their thoughts free from impatience, and their lives guided by thy resplendent light. I now invite Dr. Heather Benarek, Associate Dean, to the podium to announce student awards and honors. Thank you, Dean Higgins. Good afternoon, graduates and guests. It is truly a pleasure to begin our recognition ceremony by calling to your attention the names of those students who have achieved special honors as a result of their academic excellence and commitment to service in the Jesuit tradition. Your program lists the names of these students. I will first announce the names of award recipients. Will, would each graduate stand as I say his or her name and remain standing until the entire group is announced? Then we can recognize all of these students with our applause. Outstanding senior in analytics and enterprise systems, Joseph Bueno de Lorme. Outstanding senior in economics, Joseph R. Stryler. Outstanding Senior in Entrepreneurship, Hannah Elizabeth Seifers. Outstanding Senior in Finance, Timothy Jean Haino. Outstanding Senior in Information Technology Management, Mitchell Robert Liefeld. Outstanding Senior in International Business, Snehitha Njumuri. Outstanding Senior in Leadership and Human Resource Management, Amy Renee Getting. Outstanding Senior in Marketing, Anna Elizabeth Hilton. Outstanding Senior in Sports Business, Molly A. Fide. Outstanding Senior Intern, Catherine Lorraine Kickham. Outstanding Senior in Service Leadership, Hannah Elizabeth Seifers. Outstanding Senior Athlete, Molly A. Fide. And Leonard Hine. The Larry Vanderhaar Award, Margaret Springham, Springman. The Frederick C. Yeager Service Award, Jessica Ann Bach. The Delta Sigma Pi Scholarship Key, Joseph R. Stryler. The Neil Seitz Leadership Award, Jessica Kramer Ferris. Outstanding Student in Executive Master of International Business, Wendy Chioko Roll. <laughs> Outstanding student in Master of Accounting, Bradley William Scott. Outstanding student in Part-Time Master of Business Administration, Amy Denise Slovacek. Outstanding student in Master of Science in Applied Financial Economics, Tianyin Liu. <laughs> Outstanding student in Master of Supply Chain Management, Hamad Usman. Congratulations, award recipients. I will now announce the honor societies so that we can recognize those students who have been inducted. Please refer to your program for the complete listing of the members of each organization. I will not read each individual name, but will ask all members to stand for each organization. Alpha Sigma Nu. The Honor Society of Jesuit Universities and Colleges recognizes students who have distinguished themselves in scholarship, loyalty, and service in the Jesuit tradition. In recognition of your achievements, would the Alpha Sigma Nu members please rise.
Theta Gamma Sigma is the academic honor society for business students and is the highest honor that a, that a student at a school accredited by the AACSB can attain. I ask the Beta Gamma Sigma members to please rise to be recognized for your achievements. A number of honor societies are dedicated to a specific business discipline. When your organization is announced, please rise and be recognized for your achievements. Beta Alpha Psi is the National Academic Honorary Fraternity for Financial Information Professionals, including accounting, finance, and information systems. <laughs> Beta Alpha Psi. <laughs> Omicron Delta Epsilon emphasizes scholastic achievement in the field of economics. In addition to the honors groups just recognized, there are other university-wide honors groups such as Golden Key, National Society of Collegiate Scholars, and Omicron Delta Kappa, to which students may belong. If you are a member of any of, uh, of the honor groups not previously announced, please stand and be recognized. Each spring, the university sponsors a forum for seniors to showcase projects or papers. I ask all of those participating in the Senior Legacy Symposium in 2019 to please stand and be recognized. Congratulations to each of you on these special recognitions of your hard work and commitment to excellence. I now invite Dean Higgins back to the podium. It is my pleasure to recognize the Faculty Teaching Awards. Uh, when I call your name, please stand. Beta Alpha Psi Outstanding Teacher, Ms. Debbie Pike. Beta Gamma Sigma Outstanding Teacher, Mr. Dave Sanders. <laughs> Graduate Faculty Teacher of the Year, Dr. Scott Thompson. Ex Executive Masters in International Business Outstanding Teacher, Mr. Eugene Cunningham. and the Father Thomas N. Knapp Society of Jesus Distinguished Faculty Award, Dr. Justin Goodson. Thank you. I now invite Ms. Debbie Pike, Assistant Professor in Accounting, to the podium to present the graduates. We will now begin the presentation of the 2019 Richard A. Chaffetz School of Business degree candidates. I now invite Dr. Scott Duhlman, Chair of the Accounting Department, to the podium to present the first group of graduates. Will all students receiving a Bachelor's of Science in Accounting rise and come forward? Jin Chuan Zheng. Adam M. Hawkins, summa cum laude. Abigail Warrington. Christine Marie Bauman. Michael P. Donnelly. Antonio Dewey Lee. 
David Brendan McNamee, magna cum laude. Colton A. Meske. Timothy Benjamin Makoviak. Benjamin Joseph Barkley. Jonathan Michael Logi, Accounting and Economics, magna cum laude. John Michael Russo. Jared C. Podlowski. Elizabeth Ann Hackett, magna cum laude. Megan Marie Cronin. Whitney S. Shelton, Accounting and Information Technology Management. Preston Christopher Burnsed, cum laude. Alicia Kachai, cum laude. Amar Kovac, Accounting and International Business. Gary Laron Stevenson. Cheng Fei Tang, magna cum laude. Ali Hassan Al Muhammad Ali. Timothy David O, cum laude. Alex Tanner. Isaiah W. Reeder, cum laude. David Lloyd Bross, summa cum laude. Joseph S. Capriva, summa cum laude. Claire Byrne Milner, cum laude. Jacob Addison Hedrick. Aaron Christine Gorman, magna cum laude. Kendall Ann Robinson, service leadership program, summa cum laude. Zachary Lee Burnham, Service Leadership Program, Cum Laude. Lu Zhang. Jingyuan He, Cum Laude. <laughs> Yu Chang. <laughs> Yu Ying Hao, Cum Laude. <laughs> Xiaowan Ren. Thomas Francis Hunter Lolly, Accounting and Economics. Claire Joyce Titus Eronimo, Accounting and Italian Studies, Summa Cum Laude. Megan Rose Zidon, Accounting and Information Technology Management. Jacob Alexander Krupowitz, Accounting and Finance and Information Technology Management. Congratulations, graduates. I now invite Dr. Reuven Levery, Chair of the Department of Operations and Information Technology Management to the podium to present the next two groups of graduates. When all the graduates earning a Bachelor of Science in Analytics and Enterprise System or in Information Technology Management, please rise and come forward. The following students earned a major in analytics and enterprise systems. Eggy Vilza, magna cum laude. Eggie! Barrett Christopher Leonard. John Michael Livesey. Christian Jonathan Philip All. Mitchell Robert Liefeld, University Honors Program, Information Technology Management, Analytics and Enterprise Systems, magna cum laude. Michael James Marchetti, cum laude. 
Maya O. Abrahamian, cum laude. Yeah. Parker Joseph Capron. Yeah. Kevin James Ganahl, Accounting and Analytics and Enterprise Systems, cum laude. Joseph Bueno de Lormier, Service Leadership Program, summa cum laude. Yeah. Thomas Sean Malloy, Accounting and Analytics and Enterprise Systems, magna cum laude. Ahmed Mohammed Salama. Congratulations, graduates. Our next group of students earned a major in information technology management. Patrick Henry Bruns Donahue. Daniel Alex Elson. Woo! Rachel Marie King. Woo! Jacob Timothy Muth. William Thayer Moore. Luke Sebastian Miller, cum laude. David E. White. Kishan Haresh Patel. Parth Patel. Dennis Asante Osafo. Kyle Lawrence Luzano. Pearl Jang. Josh Lin. Mary Grace Nicole Manuel. Yeah, Lakshmi Canal. Mary Lee. Reed Kenneth Rankin. Congratulations, graduates. I now invite Dr. Heather Bidnarik, Associate Dean, to the podium to present the next group of graduates. Will the graduates earning a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration please rise and come forward? Chan Cheng Li. Liba Khan Lodai. Congratulations, graduates. I now invite Dr. Hailong Chen, Chairman of the Economics Department, to the podium to present the next group of graduates. Will all graduates earning a Bachelor um, of Science in Economics please rise and come forward? Sean Patrick Conlin, cum laude. Matthew Logan Camacho. Michael Yahiro. Michael Colin Flesh. Corbin Mark Robinson, University Honors Program, Economics, summa cum laude. Joseph R. Stryler, University Honors Program, Economics, summa cum laude. Spencer Adrian DeMars, cum laude. 
Gavin David Coveney. Brody Thomas Shea. Gafar A. Umarov, Economics and Finance. Ramesh Saeed. Zainab Rita Zaidi, Economics and International Business. Nicole M. Welch. Rosanna Romero. Claire Marie Schneider, International Business and Economics, magna cum laude. Charles Patrick Elliott, Economics and Mathematics, magna cum laude. Daniela Christina Echeverry, cum laude. Adele Justine Schenk, International Business and Economics, Service Leadership Program, cum laude. Amanda Elizabeth Bouchelle, cum laude. Thomas Richard Bergen, University Honors Program, Service Leadership Program, magna cum laude. Michael Patrick Winters, Economics and Marketing, Service Leadership Program. Chase Joseph Rose, Economics and Finance, cum laude. Yulia Andrea Stefanescu, cum laude. Congratulations, graduates. I now invite Dr. Jerry Katz, professor in the Department of Management, to the podium to present the next three groups of graduates. Will the graduates earning a Bachelor of Science in Entrepreneurship or Leadership and Human Resource Management or Sports Business please rise and come forward? The following students earned a major in entrepreneurship. Megan Casey Loftus, cum laude. William David Fogler. Rachel Kathleen Farnan. Thomas James Bushnell. Sean Franzak, Entrepreneurship and Information Technology Management. Kenji Michael Morey. Jacob Krupp. Matthew Ryan Fleming. Jaren Amir Blackshear Bryant. Jaren Amir Blackshear Bryant. Jacob Tucker Lachance. Leadership in HR Management and Entrepreneurship. Samuel Joseph Greaves. Zhang Sheng Wang. Matea Linei Wabik. Juliana Marie Curley. Kiera J. Stewart, cum laude. Congratulations, graduates. The following students earned a major in Leadership and Human Resource Management. Amy Renee Getting, magna cum laude. Christopher James Heritage. Melissa Renee Parody, cum laude. Sophia Yu Jin Chu. Dino Nurkic. Tyler Jamison Turnbow, cum laude. William Dakota Jones.
Catherine Grace Stanziola. Alexandra Kathleen Bruns. Jacqueline Elizabeth Garidi. Catherine Ann Heaney. Alyssa Ann Blaschel. Jason B. Wilhite, Service Leadership Program. Fatima Iqbal Chaudhry, Leadership in Human Resource Management, Accounting and Information Technology Management, magna cum laude. Carolyn Rita Effinger. Catherine Emily Williams, magna cum laude. Samantha Jean Bennett, Service Leadership Program, magna cum laude. Congratulations, graduates. The following students earned a major in sports business. Adam Robert Ressler, sports business and marketing. Samuel Andrew Moore, cum laude. Molly A. Fide, cum laude. James Warren Golden. Colin G. Ritter, cum laude. Joseph M. Block, cum laude. Congratulations, graduates. I now invite Dr. Badisha Chakrabarty, Chair of the Finance Department, to the podium to present the next group of graduates. Will all graduates earning a Bachelor of Science in Finance please rise and come forward? Robert Lewis Jansen, Sports Business and Finance, magna cum laude. Richard Patrick Kelly, Economics and Finance, summa cum laude. Michael Frederick Haymauer, Accounting and Finance, summa cum laude. Justin Richard Mars, Finance and Entrepreneurship, cum laude. Nicholas Santon Legrand, Finance and Entrepreneurship. Trenton Davis Hawkins, cum laude. Emma Ann Casanova, summa cum laude. Scott Randall Schultz, magna cum laude. Adam Mark Michelini, Finance and Marketing, magna cum laude. Ashley Taylor Evans, magna cum laude. Joanna Ivelova Ivanova, Economics and Finance, magna cum laude. Amna Safar Kidwai. Kristen Ayala, Finance with Financial Analysis Concentration and Economics. Jason Thomas Plyler, Finance and Russian Studies. Matthew Joseph Barron. Gabriel James Horace, magna cum laude. Jared T. DeLeon. Margaret Springman, Service Leadership Program. Badika Sharma. Danielle Rose Colbert Bloom, cum laude. Jiaming Tui. Yao Min Feng, cum laude. Wen Tao Chen. 
Jing Lu, cum laude. Haishan Sun, finance and marketing. Haisu Liu. Eric Joseph Pitlick, finance and information technology management, cum laude. Tyler Joseph Bleckley, magna cum laude. Christopher Miller Raymond, cum laude. Joseph Paul Yaleli, Economics and Finance. Michael Christopher Lampkin, Finance and Entrepreneurship. Mason William Davis, Cum Laude. Mackenzie Victoria Donovan. Gareth Clayton Greenwell, Finance and Marketing, Summa Cum Laude. Luke Allen Gordon, Cum Laude. Mackenzie Ray Hoffer, magna cum laude. Amar Bektik. Gregory, Gregory Blake Schmidt, summa cum laude. Anthony Michael Dinello. John Brian Green, service leadership program, cum laude. Nina Marlene O'Connell, cum laude. Madonna Catherine Endries. Joseph Patrick Nucerino. Joshua Edward Williams. Kush Sabash Patel, Finance and Accounting. Aman Thakar. Joseph Gregory Eckert. Nicholas Eric Zagel. Let's go! Shravan Chan Atluri, magna cum laude. Yeah. Matthias Grignola, finance and entrepreneurship, cum laude. Mario Sebastian May, magna cum laude. Clayton Drake Feldman, finance with financial analysis concentration, Summa cum laude. Brian James North. Sean Patrick McGowan, cum laude. Yanni Miter. Connor Matthew Stelgis, magna cum laude. Congratulations, graduates. I now invite Dr. Hadi Alhor, Chairman of the Department of International Business, to the podium to present the next group of graduates. Will all graduates earning a Bachelor of Science in International Business please rise and come forward? Jahui Tang. Madeline Page Poole, cum laude. Aaron Carmen Rose. Snehitha Injamori, summa cum laude. Allison Shauman Lajaj, marketing and international business. 
Mason Joseph Galvin, International Business and Mathematics, magna cum laude. Stephen Elliott Stone. Pranav N. Sungameswaran. Andrew Burton Milatello. Sean Allen Pilcher, cum laude. Manuel DeBacker, summa cum laude. Griffin Paul Wood, International Business and Communication. Kaylin Janae Tussell, International Business and Marketing, Service Leadership Program, cum laude. Catherine Lorraine Kickham, International Business and International Studies, cum laude. Floor Elemen Mars, Marketing and International Business, cum laude. Olive Scarlett Elwell, cum laude. Madison Michelle Marks. Tara Janae Randolph, International Business and Marketing. Seema Kakar, cum laude. Shiwei Zhang, International Business, Information Technology Management, cum laude. Shi Yi Chen, Finance and International Business, magna cum laude. Yi Zheng. Jia Hong Zhuo. Congratulations, graduates. I now invite Dr. Mark Arnold, Chair of the Department of Marketing, to the program to present the next group of graduates. Will all graduates earning a Bachelor of Science in Marketing please rise and come forward? That's us. Junsu Kwan, International Business and Marketing. Matthew Patrick Shanahan. Brendan J. Skelton. Patrick Joseph Wilson. Emilio A. Pinero Meyer. Dylan Benjamin Valentine, Marketing and Information Technology Management. Rachel Ann Hansen. Ellen Teresa Stuhlreier, cum laude. Daniel Carl Eby, Jr. Patrick Robert Graney Dolan. Cindy Hong, International Business and Marketing. Desmond Latham Dolphy. Isabella Poggioli. Diana Grace Crump. John Thomas Hazard. Catherine Marie Fitzgerald. Alexander Douglas Vanderreet. Mark. Brendan J. Robert. Brianna K. Steinman, Service Leadership Program, magna cum laude. Wazantha Lalita Marian Naramsamhalu, Economics and Marketing. Rachel Elizabeth Vibert. Evan Vincent Block, Marketing and International Business, cum laude. Sarah Lael Knapp, Service Leadership Program, cum laude. Catherine K. Lamarca. 
Dorian M. Gordon. Lindsay K. Sands. Alexandra Mary Kempisi, Service Leadership Program, Cum Laude. Brittany Jepson Green, Magna Cum Laude. Anna Elizabeth Hilton, Cum Laude. Ashley Marie Bowling. Monica Perez Carrillo. Karina Marquez Hernandez. Ruben Gonzalez. Thomas Aloysius O'Malley. Lee Garofalo. Michael Joseph Banks. David Douglas Mattern. William Sauer Polno. Michael Lloyd Kawash. Michael A. Ballantyne, Entrepreneurship and Marketing. Tessa S. McIntyre. Elliot Drew Welmer. Mary Ellen Wise, Marketing and International Business. Ryan Thomas Crepine. Catherine Margaret Sosen, Cum Laude. Patrick James Rogers. William Ronald Apker. Christopher James Bike. Nevin Lucas Bavik. Congratulations, graduates. This concludes the presentation of our bachelor degree candidates. We will now begin the presentation of our master degree candidates. I now invite Dr. Scott Duhlman back to the podium to present the next group of graduates. Will all students receiving a master's of accounting rise and come forward? Included in this group are students receiving are in the integrated program receiving both a Bachelor's of Science of Accounting and a Master's of Accounting. Justin Michael Lang. Kyle Jeffrey Bray. Adam Christopher Carrill. Jeremy Howard Keim. Mariah Rose Behrens. Catherine Ann Dubuque. Gregory Gornick, magna cum laude. Camila Rivas. Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Master of Accounting, Magna Cum Laude. Mackenzie J. McCoy Lawson, Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Master of Accounting, Magna Cum Laude. Alexis Marie Oakes, Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Master of Accounting, Cum Laude. Wen Yang Zhao. Jessica Ann Bach. University Honors Program, Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Master of Accounting, Finance, Service Leadership Program, Magna Cum Laude. Anna Magdalena Chaluzniak, Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Master of Accounting, Cum Laude. Courtney Marie Link. Benjamin Joseph Yeager. Congratulations, graduates. I 
I now invite Dr. Heather Bednarik back to the podium to present the next group of graduates. Will the graduates earning a Master of Business Administration degree please rise and come forward. Connor Stover Cervantes. Allowed Tomas Albert. Guy Carter Blaze. Wing Xing Leung. Alex Stephen Kirsting. Samantha Marie Kern. Eve Gritzemacher Wiseman. Aaron Ling Swinger. Kaylee Elizabeth Sloan. Jessica Kramer Ferris. Ryan Matthew Beavers. Gabriella Angeline Bobak. Anne Alexandra Rudoy. Brooke Gray. Sierra L. Price. Sanji Julia Creesboy. Shujun Cheng. Min Trang Nguyen. Steven Tyler Sweeney. Kelly Marie Cahill. Elizabeth Ann Gologli. Autumn Simerson Duby. Danielle Rebecca Wallace. Suzanne Marie Pernot. Scott Kernan. Robert E. Chapin. Susan Elizabeth Giles. Brianna Cherie Liddell. Jonathan Bruce Fuller. Ignacio Escudero. Chad Robert Schubert. Wei Tong Cindy Keen. Anne Denise Slovacek. Amy Denise Slovacek. Haley Marie Markway. Justin Ray Robinson. Kitty Pong Tong Su Charitham. Chandler Joseph Poppin. Congratulations, graduates. I now invite Dr. Hailong Chen back to the podium to present the next group of graduates. We are all graduates um, earning a Master of Science in Applied Financial Economics. Please rise and come forward.
Aaron Timma. Prakash Kandula. Tasso Alexander Pettigrew. Kevin Thomas Myers. Stephen Neil Stratman. Shangmin Miu. Shin Chen Tong. Ming Wan Kui. Yan Zheng. Xiaojing Zheng. Zixuan Zheng. Sharon Meng. Andrew Edward Vasquez. Chi Wang. Fang Ji Hui. Tao Tao Huang. Tianyuan Liu. Bin Yao. Liang Shi. Xiao Shuang Yin. Congratulations, graduates. I now invite Dr. Reuven Levery back to the podium to present the next group of graduates. Will all the graduates earning a Master of Science in Supply Chain Management please rise and come forward. Yatong Bai. Ruja Shen. Ting Zhuan Shu. Yu Chun Seng. Jing Lang Hu. Chi Chi Chen. Mohammed Sharia Zafar. Mir Shayan Ali Talpur. <laughs> Hamed Usman. Congratulations, graduates. I now invite Dr. Hadi Al Hor back to the podium to present the next group of graduates. Will all graduates earning an executive master's of international business please rise and come forward.
Jared Michael Hayes. Christopher Thomas Slim. Ryan John Avery. Shrikanth Kanan. Ryan Scott Felig. Wendy Chioko Roll. Amy Grace Holbrook. Emily Elizabeth Horton. Nicholas W. Jonathan. Daniel William Draper. Krista Deandra Fox. Lucas Scott Vickers. Thomas Matthew Malone. Ariola Arebola Arawusi. Congratulations, graduates. This concludes the presentation of our master degree candidates. We will now begin the presentation of our PhD candidates. Dr. Brad Carlson, director of the PhD program and associate professor of marketing to the podium to present the next group of graduates. I invite Dr. Mark Arnold, chair of the marketing department to the podium to present our first PhD candidate. Thank you, Dr. Carlson. I am honored to present to you our first PhD candidate, Ms. Brittany Bauer. <laughs> the title of Dr. Bauer's dissertation is Divergence in Brand Community Membership, the Role of Social Distance and competing construals. Congratulations, Dr. Bauer. I invite Dr. Carl Martz, Professor of Management, to the podium to present our second PhD candidate. Thank you, Dr. Carlson. It's my honor to present our second PhD candidate to you, Mr. Clark Johnson. The title of Mr. Johnson's dissertation is Intercultural Negotiations, Examining Change in Processing, Attitudes, and Intentions Through an Episodic Modeling Approach. Congratulations, Mr. Johnson. Now that all degree candidates in the Richard A. Chaffetz School of Business at St. Louis University have been presented to you, I invite Dr. Higgins to return to the podium. Let's give a round of applause for Debbie Pike. Now I'd like the class of 2019 to stand up, turn around, and thank all those individuals here today who through their love and support and assistance have helped you accomplish this milestone. Please be seated. Our commencement speaker today is a double shape at school alumnus, a 1986 graduate with a BS in accounting and finance, and a 1992 graduate of our MBA program. In 1996, he also completed the requirements to be a CFA. Before assuming his current role as president of Alpine Capital, a wealth management advisory firm, he served as the company's chief operating officer. 
Prior to Alpine, he was a senior vice president with Bank of America. He is actively engaged in the community and serves currently as the president of the Chaffetz School of Business Executive Advisory Board and previously was a member of our Alumni Business Engagement Board. He has served in numerous leadership positions at nonprofit entities throughout the past 25 years, including chairman of the Daughters of Charity Foundation, a member of the Committee for Trustees at the Smet Jesuit, and a member of the Community Engagement Committee for Villa Duches Oak Hill School. He is also a recipient of Chaffetz School's Father Joseph Davis Society of Jesus Lifetime Service Award. It is my pleasure to introduce today's commencement speaker, Brett Ruffgar. <clears throat> Graduates, parents, family members, faculty, assembled guests, and Dean Higgins, thank you for the opportunity to be here today to celebrate this part of your commencement. I have thought a lot about this, delivering a commencement address. Wow, this is a big deal. I was thinking, I'm delivering the last profound ideas, the final impactful thoughts, the concluding advice that you're going to hear before you go out into the world. And then I thought, oh boy, you guys are in trouble. When Dean Higgins asked me to give the commencement address for the Richard Chaffetz School of Business, I asked him what I thought would be most valuable to you, the graduates. He mentioned several ideas, including sharing thoughts on things that I know now that I wish I had known when I was in your seat, a freshly minted graduate. I thought about that for a minute and I said, you know, Dr. Higgins, for me to cover all the things that I wish I had known when I was graduating would probably take the better part of a full day. And you've only given me two and a half hours for this speech. So, okay, okay, maybe not the two, full two and a half hours, probably more like eight or 10 minutes, but I really did give this a lot of thought. There are truly many, many things that I know now that I wish I had known when I was in your position. And I'm sure there's still some that I have to learn, or at least that's what my wife tells me pretty much every day. One of the most important ones, clearly, and this is something that I finally learned after years and years of experience. No matter which line you, you switch to when going through airport security, the one you switch to always has the guy who forgot his water bottle and his carry-on. He walks through a metal detector with a phone in his pocket, and then he realizes he forgot his boarding pass, delaying everybody behind him. So now that probably won't land you your dream job, but it's one piece of advice. So since it would require hours to get through all the things that I wish I knew upon graduating, I'm gonna give you a handful, or a list of a handful of things that I wish I had known. The first several will be short and to the point, but I think they're important, and had I really understood them earlier in my career, it would have made a big difference. So here we go. This is my top eight list of things I wish I had known. Probably should have been a top 10 list like David Letterman, but they only came up with eight. So, whoops. So number eight, you have two ears, and one mouth. Use them proportionally. Enough said. Number seven, don't tell people about what you're going to do. Tell them about what you've done. To put it more succinctly, let your actions speak for you. Number six, old adage, measure twice, cut once. Now to put that in more modern parlance, before you hit send on that email or text, Read it twice, because once you hit send, it is gone. You cannot pull it back. I have seen careers derailed or ruined because someone sent something either out of haste or emotion and really regretted it. And if it's something that's really serious and any emotion is involved, write it, leave it, sleep on it. My guess is about 90% of those emails or texts won't be sent the next day. Number five. A good plan, well executed, is much better than the perfect plan, never executed. Waiting for the perfect time or the perfect opportunity means that you could miss a lot of opportunities that may not be perfect, but are awfully darn good. Number four, multitasking is great. It is at times a very necessary skill, but I would much rather hire someone who is a mediocre multitasker, but who does a great job 
on every project or every task, even if they don't attempt as many things in a day. Focus on what you're doing at the moment and do it extremely well before jumping into the next thing. Number three, this is one of my favorites and a lot of people who work with me hear this. There are two kinds of people in the world. There are those who walk into the room, see a problem, and will spend the next 15 minutes telling you who caused the problem, why it can't be solved, and how much extra work the problem is going to cause. Then there's a person who walks into the room, sees the problem, and says, I'm not sure how, but I will help solve that problem. Be that person. Number two, if you haven't already, find a mentor, then be a mentor. If you find the right mentor, you will learn a lot and you will connect to a lot of people. You will have a sounding board who has probably already experienced all the things that you're dealing with. Then eventually pay it back. Find somebody and be a mentor to them. Now let me focus in on the one big thing that I really wish someone had made very clear to me early in my career. Do not let fear lead you to a life of regret over the success you could have achieved. Now you can find a success a lot of ways. Success in your career, for sure, because we're all thinking about that today, but it goes way beyond that. Maybe it's success with your partner, your spouse, maybe success with your family or your kids. Maybe it's success in your community, philanthropically. However you define success, do not let fear keep you from achieving it. So what do I mean by fear? First of all, get the heck out of your comfort zone. Your comfort zone is something you're looking for in retirement. You're not retired yet. For now, you want to be testing your limits, reaching for the stars, challenging yourself in some new way every single day. Way too often, we stay in our comfort zone, not out of a desire for comfort, but for fear of what lies beyond. What it really comes down to is that too many of us are afraid of failure. We think failure is terminal. It'll destroy our career. It'll kill us, sometimes literally. Let me ask you, anyone know who Sarah Blakely is? She's the founder of Spanx. Now, most of the ladies know about Spanx, but for you guys, if you don't know her, Google Spanx. Uh, just probably don't do it on your work computer. <laughs> Sarah Blakely's father was a very wise man, and he encouraged her to attempt as many things as possible and allow herself to experience failure. Sarah has a great, great quote. She said of failure, I'm going to read this twice. Failure for me became not trying versus the outcome. So let me read that one more time. Failure for me became not trying versus the outcome. And she did fail. She wanted to be an attorney because her father was an attorney, but she bombed the LSAT twice. So then she ended up going to Disney World to try out to be goofy. They wanted her to be 5'8", but she was only 5'6", so they told her instead she'd have to be a chipmunk. Talk about some real failure. Oh yeah, and by the way, Blakely's embrace of failure has helped make her the youngest self-made female billionaire in America. Finally, it's not bad, huh? Finally, let me tell you about one of my most embarrassing failures in my business career. Just out of college, from here, I worked for a local bank, Mark Twain Bank. Some of you parents from St. Louis may remember it. The chairman of the bank was always berating us for being too afraid to ask questions in meetings, for being too afraid to step up and introduce ourselves to some prospective client or some VIP. So one day there was a big meeting with the bank's board of directors. These were some of the most important and intimidating people I'd ever seen. But I summoned up the courage to walk up to two very distinguished gentlemen who were having a conversation in about the most awkward manner possible, I introduced myself. It was a disaster. They both just looked at me like I was an idiot. Politely, they said hello and then returned to their conversation. From my perspective, again, it was a catastrophe. 
But guess what? I didn't get fired. I didn't even get demoted. And I certainly didn't die. But here is the really interesting part. About 10 or 15 years later, I was speaking to the board of a foundation trying to earn their investment business. I finished my presentation and had that awkward moment where everybody around the boardroom table just stared at me. Until that is, an older gentleman raised his hand and said, thank you, Brett, I have a few questions. He went on to ask several very good questions and undeniably helped us win the business. After we finished, I walked around the table and thanked several of the board members. And when I got to the gentleman who asked the question, I suddenly recognized him. He was one of the former directors of Mark Twain Bank that I had so awkwardly introduced myself to. And he said to me, good presentation, Brett. How have you been? Always good to see a Mark Twainer doing well. Could have knocked me over with a feather. He remembered me from that awkward introduction. And I think about this a lot. Had I not gotten out of my comfort zone and introduced myself to that man, I doubt we would have ever won that business. Look, there are going to be times when you agree to do something. Maybe it's to take on a big project or a new job way out of town. Maybe it's agree to give a big speech like a commencement address. And then all of a sudden, you're going to think, oh my God, what have I done? I can't do this. This is a disaster. I'm going to fail. That is not the time to mail it in. That is a time to realize you have a great opportunity to make a difference in your life. In other words, don't let the game come to you. Go to the game. Again, do not let fear lead you to a life of regret over the success you could have achieved. Don't worry about failure. Get out there and do something. Try something new. Use your skills. Introduce yourself to someone important. Seize the success that you have worked for. I wish you all the best. You have worked hard. You have achieved much. And you have all been well prepared by a great school. Go out there and make a difference. Get out of your comfort zone. Face your fears. Experience at least a few failures. And achieve the success you deserve. Thank you very much. Thank you, Brett. I now invite Mr. Anthony Lancia, BS 2005, President of the Richard A. Chaffetz School of Business Alumni Engagement Board, to the podium. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Anthony Lancia, and as president of the Alumni Engagement Board for the Chaffetz School of Business, I would like to offer the board sincere congratulations to all of you. I remember my undergraduate at SLU as one of the fondest times of my life. SLU is where I grew in friendship, in leadership, in confidence, and in service. It is where I met and married my beautiful wife, Laura. As you reflect, I'm sure that you can recall a number of blessings that you have from this school. The people that you have met and are sitting around are more important than you know. If there is one thing that I've learned since my 2005 graduation, much of your current and future success is from growing and managing your network. One blessing that SLU immediately provides you is a network of over 20,000 Chaffetz School alumni worldwide you can tap into. The Alumni Engagement Board is one way that I have personally tapped into our network where I've been able to be helped and help fellow alumni. As soon to be part of the Shaped School alumni, I invite you to participate in our networking events to grow and mature your network. I invite you to come to support our trivia night that generates thousands of dollars in scholarships for Shaped School students. I invite you to stay connected to a network that will serve you well as you serve others. The mission of your Alumni Engagement Board is to foster an ongoing positive connection among current students, alumni, the community, and St. Louis University. I challenge all of you to participate in that mission. And I thank you for allowing me to take a few moments on your special day. I now invite Dr. Higgins back to the podium.
Thank you, Anthony. As we wrap up this ceremony, I would like to ask the faculty to please stand and the staff out there to stand or raise their hands to be recognized for all they have done to make graduation a reality for the class of 2019. Please stand. Raise your hands, please stand, staff. Thank you. Please be seated. Except for one individual. I, I want to especially want to recognize Assistant Dean Debbie Barbeau, who after 23 years will be retiring from SLU in July. Please stand. Thank you. In closing, I want to pick up on Brett's speech. I've used these two quotes in all of the uh, comments that I've made to graduates uh, uh, when, when I've been dean at this institution and, and another institution. So I'd like to leave you with two quotes from John Wooden, the Hall of Fame basketball coach, who many have said was a better person than he was a coach. Coach Wooden said, don't be afraid to fail. The greatest failure of all is the failure to act when action is needed. And in acting, I urge you to live the slew mission of higher purpose, greater good by being involved in your community. The second quote I want to leave you with, and one of my favorites from Coach Wooden, that has been proven itself true over and over again, is the little, deal, the little details in life that are vital. Little things make big things happen. So I urge you to pay attention to life's little details. So on behalf of the Schaefer School of Business, I congratulate you, the class of 2019, and hope that you will always be proud to say that you are a graduate of St. Louis University's Schaefer School of Business. One final congratulations for the class of 2019. This now concludes our ceremony, so I ask the guests to please remain seated until the faculty and student recession has ended, and I look forward to seeing everyone tomorrow. Have a good evening.